hear about Jesus yet my children are doing well some of them are abroad schooling some of them are excelling in life I don't need Jesus so let me answer that question tonight once and for all why do you need Jesus number one the Bible declares that the only way to be a recipient of the life of God is to come through Jesus it says this is the testimony that God had given us eternal life the life of God he says that life is in his son and it is only he that had the son that is the only person who has life whoever has not encountered the son of the living God Jesus cannot have the life of God why do I need Jesus the Bible says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God every single one of us here including the preacher speaking the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God that means by the standard of our righteousness by the rituals of men none of us qualify to stand before the father blameless Jesus came as a substitutionary sacrifice literally giving his life his blood for me and for you what sacrifice seeing that i cannot save myself seeing that i cannot help myself he came and he said listen you will keep trying and trying forever and you will not be able to help yourself but i can step in you stand back let me pay that price for your sin can you imagine that level of love think about it in a wicked world like ours today how many people do you know can sacrifice for you how many people do you know can sacrifice for your children and yet there is one who came from heaven stripped himself of his glory and power all for you when he hung upon that cross it was not because he was weak it was not the nails that held his hands it was love that held his hands when he hung upon that cross he saw me he saw you he saw the beautiful tarot race and he said no if it is for these people my death will be worth it and he hung there on the cross bleeding and crying mocked by ignorant men and yet he remained there you are the one that we praise you are the one that we adore you give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger listen to me every one of you looking at me tonight there is a void in your life that nothing else can fill. You can assume and pretend you don't want to listen to this preacher. But hear me, dear people. There is a void in the heart of every man that education cannot fill. As important as it is. There is a, there is a void in the heart of every man that money cannot fill. There is a void in the heart of every man that achievement cannot fill. That's why you see successful people committing suicide and killing themselves. They have all the money. They have all the achievements. There is a void that only the size of Jesus can fill. It is that void that has led young men to live in very irresponsible lives. When you see a young man wasting his life and wasting his destiny, ask him, what is responsible for this this mayhem and chaos around your life he is attempting to fill a void some fill it with tobacco some fill it with alcohol some fill it with wayward lives 
some fill it with witchcraft and sorcery and occultism it is the desire to connect with a god that is higher than you some fill it with ambition but hear me no matter what you attempt to put in the space of jesus it will never truly satisfy you jesus is the only one who is able to satisfy that longing in your heart hear me why do you need jesus please listen to me someday we will wake up in the morning intending to go about our activities as usual and we will find out that on that glorious morning the trumpet will sound you have heard it some of you as soon as you were born they told you he's coming you have laughed and mocked at preachers laughed and mocked at men of god but I, let me tell you this you need jesus because anyone who does not make peace with him on that glorious morning when that trumpet will sound whether you believe it or not some of us will be on our way with glory i will go and see my grandfather reverend damina rendap and i will say baba i'm happy to see you we took the baton from where you served and you died and we have come as a continuation of what you are doing we will meet apostle paul some of you will meet those who you have written we've written about our generations we will stand before them some of you will see your loved ones who were matired by wicked men some of you will see your loved ones who died serving the kingdom some of you will see your loved ones who you never had a chance to see because they killed them while you were a baby but some of you sadly may never see anyone you will be doomed like lazarus and the rich man if you reject jesus you will stand and there will be a gulf that divides you the bible says there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth this is not a preacher's sermon it will happen one day our fathers taught us and died hear me people of god hear me dear tarot nation your son and your child is bringing this message to you not a missionary from america not a missionary from europe not someone from another region a son of the soil is echoing this word again jesus is coming back reinhard bonke preached it and died tl osborne preached it and died our fathers preached it and died here is a son of the soil coming to you with passion in my heart that jesus is coming one glorious morning does not matter what political party you are does not matter what college or university you graduate from hear me anybody and any nation any tribe that rejects jesus has rejected salvation has rejected advancement i assure you by god go and study scripture go and study modern history there is no territory that rejected jesus that went forward every territory that rejects jesus no matter their personal desires and ambition they will always remain backward because jesus said i am the way there are not many ways i am the way i am the truth and i am life by the privilege of the work that God has committed to my hands, I've had the honor of studying revivals and the moves of God across nations. I have studied the move of God across islands and nations and territory to learn the lesson so that we can preserve it for the sake of our generation. Once upon a time, in a small island called Fiji Island, there were missionaries who came and brought the gospel. Listen to my story we're soon going to pray they brought the gospel and the people were angry 
that they came to preach them against their deities and preach them against their practices and they killed some of the missionaries and before one of the missionaries would die he said you have destroyed me and you have killed me but you have brought a curse upon yourselves and as that missionary died that land was cursed it was an island and they would never find fish around the river again their soil would not produce for them again because they fought and killed one who was sent by God with a message of love to them after many years a group of prayer warriors who began to pray I believe there are prayer warriors in this land I believe there are men and women who in the course of this crusade will catch fire afresh in the name of Jesus Christ and history tells us that this group of prayer warriors began to pray and inquire from God why is our land not moving forward why is our territory not going forward why do we continue to retrogress when other territories are going forward why why is there no development why do the young men die before their time why are many children orphans and fatherless why are many women widows and when they began to pray the spirit of god spoke to them and they said the blood of the missionaries that you killed continues to cry against that land and do you know what they did they went and fortunately they found the grandson of that missionary and brought him in a statewide program and they tendered an apology to him received the gospel as a nation and the son on behalf of his father and on behalf of Jesus took away that curse and declared a blessing over that land is 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 a documentary you can find by the very i think in a matter of days they went and suddenly fish from nowhere the the sea was now full of fish green grass began to come out here's how the bible puts it if my people who are called by my name shall number one humble themselves tarok land we must trust God to humble ourselves. We are great people. But we have come to a point where as a people, we must be unashamed about understanding that we are limited, except God helps us. Yes, I know that we come historically from a lineage of warriors. And warriors are people of strength and resolve. But can I tell you, there are times that even warriors cry. There are times that even warriors fail at such times we must drop our swords and bow our knees to one who is the warrior of warriors the king of kings the lord of lords the captain of our salvation